Bam. Welcome back to Iggy Van Zant's American Wasteland. Let's talk to him. Man, you gotta teach me one of your sick moves. Do you see a sign around my neck that says "Free Skate Lessons for Dumbasses"? No. No, but I am a dumbass. Fast and around here, that definitely looks like you. Kid, you ain't half as. Your shirt is a barcode that says that. All right, I'll show you one move. Takes out a scanner and scans Iggy chest like, what are you doing? Cruise along and roll from side to side. You cost three forty nine. It says. Okay, so this is a new addition. <laughs> <laughs> Rebounding. Smacking into Murphy. Uh, the bird slide. In terms of combos, it's useless. Um, most people don't find use in it. I think it's useful for doing sharp turns, but that's about it. Pretty much. Let's see you try one more thing. What would that be, Igbert? Not gonna say that line. I, okay, got it. Great. This song's being piped over the skate park. Get some speed going, then carve over those. Oh hi! So those textures aren't loading right. So yeah, this guy. I told you this game's buggy as hell. <laughs> well. What do you think of that, huh? Tony Hawk said on his show that some crazy oh my god busted up this lame protest in Hollywood by knocking down the dinosaur head right in the middle of them. That's awesome. We didn't hear about it, Murphy. We saw it. You're looking at the crazy lunatic right here. Murphy, you Mr. you were on the Dino phone when that radio himself. cast happened. That's were you just not listening right? to the person? Hey, you know what would be even better than that? We should go snag that thing. That big T Rex could be our first piece for the skate ranch. Help, I'm losing myself. I'm down with that plan. Lance on Murphy. <laughs> Stands on him. I'm down with that plan. Alright, so we're off to get our first piece for the ranch. Oh, after the hospital. That piece of my skull. That'd make a great not a spin spot. Alright, so we could just skate our way back out to Beverly Hills, but luckily, Iggy lets us borrow his truck, too. As long as we don't skate in it. Gotta get off your board first. What a waste. Hey! I don't have a license. Check it out. I hit a guy. Yeah. Alright, so let's get this dino boy. Hey, man. Got any plans for that dinosaur head? Yeah, it's going straight to the dumpster. That thing's wrecked. Oh, I'll take it off your hands. Oh, you want it? Oh, well, it's gonna cost you big time cash. The city code regulation fee. Oh, get out of here. You're just making stuff up to line your own pockets. That's the price. You don't want it, it's going in the trash. Now get out of here. I only talk to guys who've got enough dough. Come back when you do. But I do, thanks to all those bike tutorials I did. Huzzah. I hang out in expensive bars. They're always kicking me out. Escape to the hood of that truck. Oh, let's check this text. Every time you get a new piece of the ranch, it automatically asks you if you want to teleport back to the skate ranch. Normally I'm gonna say yes, but that time I had to check my text first, so. But we can also take the bus back. Obviously you can't take the bus directly to the skate ranch. I don't know why there would be a route down there. Uh, but you can at least take it back to Beverly Hills, which will give you a shortcut. Still technically no loading screens. Technically. All right, and now that we've got that piece of the dino head, let's go ahead and uh, place it on in here. Oh God, not another life lost. He's physically okay. Mentally, we'll get back to you on that. Thanks, Buster Keaton. I also talked to him. Oh man, I can't wait to ride that thing. I like it. Now all we need are more things like that, and this place will go off. Hey, let's and we split them all in half. Sixty-nine gas station sign in Beverly Hills. You know the one on top of that roof that looks like a nacho chip? Meet me at the gas station in Beverly Hills. I tried eating it. I lost two teeth. All right. So now. 
Mindy is waiting there at the new piece for us to do a little challenge on it. She'll do this for Remember pretty much every piece. Land a big combo on it in memory of that poor protester. Well, Mindy, this is a really hard combo, but I'll try. <laughs> every challenge is just doing a combo using the piece. So that was wacky. There's like a small handful of pieces that have actually difficult combo points you need to get. Most of them are like in the thousands or maybe hundreds. Yeah, here it is. Yep, this guy I know who happens to work at this gas station did me a solid. What's that? He loosened the bolts. Hit me in the face with a rock. He talks like it's some kind of badge of honor to know a dude who works at a gas station. Spine transfer to get a Cost an arm and a leg. Man, that's humor right there. Who are we gonna kill this time? That's a very malleable roof. Almost two people, so let's just say one person by default. That was so killer. Murphy and Boone took the 69. No, everyone lived. Floor back to the ranch. Would you look at this place? We wrecked it. Yeah, pretty amazing. Very yeah, cleanly, in a way that we can skate now. The pieces we can bring back to the ranch. Search out Hollywood, Beverly Hills, and downtown for them. I'll catch up with you later. I'm gonna go eat the rubble. <laughs> Face first, though. Mindy the Rock Eater. Hey Murphy, what's up? I'm just looking for some good pieces to bring back to Iggy's. Oh, I got it. What about this awning? It would make for a sick grind. The restaurant's right? name was so sue me. Oh, dude, nice find. <laughs> hey, why don't you try using those star map signs to get up there? Then nail the tricks that I call out to you to loosen it up. I remember this awning. Yeah, it, this mission's like a slight bitch, mostly just because of the Xbox 360 controller. Because one of the moves you have to do is like a nose blunt slide, which means you have to press up twice and then Y. And it's really hard to do on this controller. I don't remember having that much issue with a PS2 controller. So this is actually like my fourth attempt. Didn't a sack tab used to be a special trick? Probably. Once special tricks started getting wackier, why didn't that count? Uh, the, some more normal looking moves like the sack tap or the Christ air or what have you got relegated to regular moves. There we go. Let's go check it out. There will also be a few times where some pieces are gotten off screen without your involvement. So I think we're going to be doing a few of those here too. The line in the song was, by kingdom come, I will be dumb. And I feel like that works for this game. <laughs> no matter what, no matter how hard I try, I will always be dumb. See? That was almost cool. Woo! This is like a very like it's what a it's like a mellow Nirvana song from like In Utero or something. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know. I just I just get like night. It feels very '90s to me. Maybe not Nirvana specifically. All right, so this is the star that uh, the '69 ball destroyed. The '69 ball itself is actually on the mountain near the entrance of the skate ranch. It's just on a pole spinning. <laughs> Get away from that fast. Hey man, there's a naked Get away from what? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Awesome at Iggy's. Naked ladies are nice. We'll tow it out if you. The lady's not actually uh, naked. I don't know why they call her naked. She's very obviously wearing clothes. I bet you can get past this gate through those windows. Well, she may be naked at a point, there. and then someone in the higher up said, put some clothes on her. All right, how am I going to break through this window? It, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Now we got the key. Before we started recording, Jacob said editing these takes like two hours, and I thought he meant the music, 
but maybe it's other things. <laughs> this this part did take me a bit longer than the next part. I'll say that. Grind around the fountain so the rope winds around the statue. Then we can tow it out of here. Oh, hello, random dude. <laughs> the guy who gives you money for doing skate tricks was just walking up to me. He's like, hey, you need some money? I saw you just spin a lot. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Let me pay you! I love where they put the, na the quote, hey, naked lady, too. Pissed. I threw that naked lady you got from Beverly Hills in there. Mindy did it herself with her bare hands. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so this one's actually tricky. There's a big grind rail down there that leads down to the statue as well as a spike pit. But you have to actually trick on the statue in order to complete this challenge. Oh. This is like one of the least intuitive skate pieces in this whole ranch, and that is saying something. Oof. So I'm not a spinning on the spike. That doesn't count. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right. I landed on the rail. This is my chance. All right, maybe I can get off. Nope, getting out of here. All right, I have one more chance. Two seconds. Here we go. Okay. Just got to land it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, balls, I didn't do it. Um, I did it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That counted somehow. Buggy, you say? Yeah, a bit. I absolutely failed that mission, but I guess Mindy didn't see it. She was, like, on her phone or some shit. On her 2005 phone. It was at the bottom of the pit. And there's the ball. It's too dark. I couldn't see it. <laughs> Phones don't have flashlights yet, so... Huge roll in. Try to get a giant combo. This song is also quite fitting for this game. I feel like you specifically chose a bunch of songs that were, so you gave me a good mix of good skating music. Well, most of it was songs that I had already chosen for our older Tony Hawk streams. Right. I recognize a lot of them from that. I don't know why, like, your character sometimes freaks out when they're doing, like, a double kick flip in midair for some reason. Their arms start flailing around for some reason. Oh, this one. Shaking, Boone. I got my eyes on this piece for the wrench. Boone's teeth are really touch. creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna go up and tie a rope to it. Be right back. I'm okay. I love how he said that. Whatever I'm gonna go up and tie a rope oh, to it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, the rope's now tied to the green top. Just grab the rope and kick to pull it off. This mission is so easy. I remember having a ton of trouble with it as a kid. I have no idea what I was doing. <laughs> but I was doing something wrong. You just gotta tap the ollie button quickly. And you do it. What was my deal? I really cannot fathom what I was doing. The green dome kicks you up real hot. That's why Boone wanted to pull it off. Use it in a monster combo. A monster 2300 point combo. <laughs> <laughs> Might be too much for you. Oh, it's so hard, Mindy. Why do you have to do this to me? There we go. All right. You see me doing a spin, it's just to make sure there are no other missions. Let's head to Hollywood for the rest of the pieces that we have available to us now. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Right. Someone's throwing signs at me. We're gonna borrow some stars for the ranch. What the hell? How are we gonna do that? Rod over here has jammed a couple of shovels under some stars. Hey, I'm Rod. All you gotta do is grind each one to pop I own, the stars. I, I, I provide quick, shovels. That's all I do. Before the cop comes back here. All right. So you just gotta bonk the rail, <laughs> bonk ding. It used to be called Kiss the Rail. I don't know why it's not called that in this game. Just gotta do that to all the shovels. You don't have a lot of time to do it, and it's kind of hard to tell sometimes which ones you have and have not bonked. Gotta make it. There we go. Almost there. You popped. That cop cannot up. move while now you're manually. Drop on him so we can pull him out of here. Hurry, man! I think I heard him flush. 
And it didn't just bank drop the stars so you popped up. Oh, quick, quick, let's get out of here. Which wouldn't you know push hey, them right back into the ground. You're not going anywhere, buddy. That was a sick manual. Can I get your autograph? Ha! I'm driving away from him. I don't know how to write. I knew we'd have our very own star on the Walk of Fame. Hit him in one combo, and you'll be styling. This one's different. You have to hit every piece in one combo. Which I'm pretty sure is impossible to do and not score at least 400 points. <laughs> yeah. You did a kickflip earlier, and it was a thousand Are points. You friend? Right. Give me Ashley Sampson concert tickets if I let you and your buddy on the I roof. I just noticed that guy back, back there. <laughs> My buddy? Who are you talking about? Dave, the dude with the camera. He's already up there. Just go through the doors. Well, I have a minute to do this. Uh, it's really hard. <laughs> anyway. Finally! I've been waiting forever! Why are we up here? That's why! <laughs> We're gonna take it back to the ranch. And how do you suppose Looks conveniently like the radio tower in Mindy's original drawing. Grind the support wires. I don't remember that mission. Shipyard was my least favorite level. So far, I recorded so almost all of Pro Skater 4 before no, canning it. I remember. The tower. Oh no. Shipyard does suck. It's working! It's just so dingy and not fun. Hell. Oh, I wanted it to keep going and smack him in the face. I wanted that so bad, too. The physics of, like, the objects in this game are whack. What is also whack is the precision you need in order to actually fuck you. <laughs> in order to actually not a spin on this ball. Like, you need to jump perfectly in order to do this. <laughs> I'm so mad, I hate this mission. I'm not a programmer, stop blaming me. You're the face of this mission, so therefore I will blame you. God damn it, I thought I had it that time. The pain screams of this chorus really adds to this. <laughs> I don't care anymore! Did it echo? Yeah. That's the one line in this like whole game that does that. Do like too fast. I know this is cartoony anarchic fun, but you will get caught doing this. Yeah, I know. Like these are gigantic landmarks in Hollywood. You'll get caught stealing the awning in this random building that nobody cares about. Exactly. Stealing the tower is gonna get so much more trouble landed on you. It's gonna be tricky though. Security for the premiere is tight. Just hop into the back of the pickup, jump out, and grind the rope. Be careful not to get your head busted. Oh, you can't tell, by the way, I use my walk, I have security people. Easy for you to see. No time, no time. No time to skate. Uh, what? Don't know. <laughs> don't know what happened there. Also, the truck stopped for no reason. Thank you. There we go. When it works fine, this mission's kind of cool. That's definitely something that if this was Pro Skater 4, it would be really buggy and never work. I mean, it didn't work like twice already, so. <laughs> That's Maybe saying something. Like the was a bus. Land a big combo on the velvet ropes. This is a very deep snake run right here. Yeah. This is probably one of my favorite parts to skate in in uh, the skate ranch. There's a few good parts to skate in. What's up, Boone? What's the word? The word is it's time for a needle drop. Needle drop? Uh, what are you, some super fresh scratch master DJ all of a sudden? Oh, man. No, just review music. I'm the internet's busiest shirtless skateboarder. Just gotta be one of them. I gotta ask Lils why she titled this song Trapped with That Spelling. What a thrill. With darkness. 
Yes. And <laughs> 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 Let's try that again. I'm still in a dream. So what now? I've tied a cable. You shouldn't have done that. You grab the other end and grind down the side of the building. I figure two or three times around then. I'm not trying to make the music match up, it just kinda happens. <laughs> I make everything harder on myself because I always gotta get my score up when I really don't have to. Yeah, this thing's gonna freaking rock the ranch. Leave a gaping hole in it. Mr. D. How am I supposed to get to downtown with the metro closed? I'm trying to get to downtown myself, but those workers have shut down the entrance. G-man. Tell you what. I yeah, it's like it's either G-man or like the thin man from Pro Skater Three. Oh yeah. What bag of tricks? It's in my car, but the cops are giving me another parking ticket. Well, oh yeah, you parked in the middle of the street. And I'll get my bag and get you to downtown. Not like the metaphorical "you're in my way" middle of the street. I mean, like the middlest <laughs> middle you could be. Oh, I'm gone. I'm back. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, oh. <laughs> Come back here. Thanks, kid. Oh, it's toasty. That was music video level. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, it's a reference to falling down. It, uh, I did not know that. I actually don't know what that is. It's a movie. Okay, I'd imagine. One of the late Joel Schumacher's actually really good movies. So, um, we're... Uh, on. In addition to destruction of property in Los Angeles, we've now, like, abetted a terrorist. Yeah. Going down the up escalator. <laughs> Yo, nice job that I noticed that on the corner of my eye, but it didn't register. Oh, thanks, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Did you see how high that scissor lift flew in the air? Incredible! Boone's hauling that lift back to the ranch right now. Catch you later, Mindy. I'm heading off to the Am Jam. Gotta get warmed up. <laughs> you hear that cut? Yeah, yeah uh, for the Am Jam. Where do I sign up? You're not ready. Head into downtown and find Master. Have you seen the shit I've been doing? Tony Hawk would shit his pants if he saw me doing any of this. Another thing that weirdly works, having kind of chill synth pop isn't quite Tony Hawk, but a lot of this video when the song was playing is taking place at night and that works for it. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. Fatigue is very nighttime electronic music. Agreed. I need to listen to the full album. It's good stuff. Yeah, I love the two songs you've sent me. The two that have been included in the playlist, it's as close as like appropriate for Tony Hawk as the album would probably get. It's more like mid-tempo, moody, dark wave synth pop, but Right. You know, play it over nighttime, it kind of works. No, we haven't discussed a lot is the actual soundtrack for this game, because you're not hearing it, but I think it's <laughs> yeah. worth discussing as well. I think that, maybe it's just because I played it more, but I do think that this one has a more memorable soundtrack than Underground 1, not as much as Underground 2, though. It's got some really, like, hard-hitting popular songs, like Holiday by Green Day, uh, California Uberalis by Dead Kennedys. Yeah. But one of the selling points, in fact, this is on the back of the box, is that there are a number of punk, of classic punk songs covered by modern punk acts. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a few I recognize. Uh, Emmanuel covered the Stooges' Search and Destroy. From Autumn to Ashes covered Fears, Let's Have a War. My Chemical Romance covered Misfits, Astro Zombies. Yeah. And uh, The Network, which it's a synth rock side project of Green Day, they covered the Misfits' Teenagers from Mars. The original's a big favorite of mine. It, um, a lot of them are pretty good covers. I think I would have preferred the originals, but maybe that's something that I couldn't actually license necessarily, or uh, I wonder if they had intended to get the originals, but they couldn't, so they settled on getting modern punk acts. Because like some of these, like My Chemical Romance, I feel like even at the time, they were pretty big. So yeah, I wonder if that was intentional. I feel like it was intentional because some of these acts were some of the biggest acts in music at the time. Like, there's also Fall Out Boy 
did Start Today by Gorilla Biscuits. I don't know that band. Uh, but they have a great name, though. Um, like Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Rise Against. Like, Rise Against was more just big in rock. I don't know if they were, like, pop hits like My Chemical Romance or Fall Out Boy are. But I feel like this added a bit of star power, like modern recognizable star power to the soundtrack. Yeah, this is definitely one of the soundtracks that had an influence on me, especially having California Uber Alice. Right. This and having Haldane Cambodia and Guitar Hero was one of the things that got me to check out Dead Kennedys. And they and The Clash were the two big bands that really broke open punk rock for me. Yeah, there's a number of other recognizable acts like Livewire by Motley Crue. Peace Frog by The Doors. Oh, yeah, that was another big one. Filthy and Gorgeous by The Scissor Sisters. That's a great song. And that's most... Yeah, this is an okay sound, uh, Tony Hawk soundtrack. It's kind of in the... I'd say it's in the middle echelon. Um, though I will say, we, when we get to it, I do want to talk about Underground 2's soundtrack when we actually get to that game, because it's probably my favorite Tony Hawk soundtrack. That's another one that's... It's very, it's very strange, and I think that's why it's so notable, because, like, it has Johnny Cash in it. Yeah, Johnny Cash and Frank Sinatra. Just pure abandon, let's get weird. Right. As well as some of the most earwormy pop-punk songs in pop-punk. But yeah, American Wasteland, I think because the game is set in Los Angeles, and they wanted to focus on L.A. and California, it gave it a nice cohesiveness. Yeah, there are a number of L.A.-centric songs, like California Uberalis, um, Los Angeles by some dude. Frank Black. Frank Black, yes. A.K.A. Black Francis from the Pixies. Oh, did not know that. Honestly, that song's not great. Uh, it's fitting, but it's, 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 I, don't, I don't love that song. <laughs> that's, against, that's beside the point. It's a shame because Underground 2 had Los Angeles by the X's. I'm like, wait, wait one more game, dude. Yeah, I mean, X were from Los Angeles. Right. Is it X or the X's? X. Oh, okay, my bad. I thought they were the X's. Maybe I'm thinking of the Nickelodeon show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a band called the X's, but yeah, the L.A. hardcore band is X. Got it. And yeah, Black Francis from Boston, so. <laughs> well, they did specify they wa he wants to live in Los Angeles, not the one in Los Angeles. Whatever that means. Oh yeah, and Black Metal by Venom. That song rips. What an odd song to have, though. <laughs> yeah. I think the Doors are from L.A., so that's another pretty obvious one. Break on through the other side was in an earlier Tony Hawk, wasn't it? That was an underground too, yes. Yeah. Green Day, are they more Bay Area? I think so. I think they're from San Francisco. I might be wrong on that. I keep wanting to say they're from Wisconsin, but that's just because their name rhymes with Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least uh, East Bay. Yeah. Eastern region of San Francisco Bay, so yeah. A lot of stuff, not always specifically from L.A., but at least California. Right. Although, if they're going to have Black Francis in this, who's from Boston, I guess it works that we've included a lot of my friends who are from Boston. There we go. We've completed the circle. Oh, I forgot Oingo Boingo was in here, too. Welcome to the 10-minute uh, Thorn and Jacob look through the soundtrack and name names of bands portion of this Let's Play. LP is in this. Dell, the Funky Homo Sapiens, in this. Oh, yeah. I know them. Everyone is Someone in L.A. by Felix to Housecat is a song that always sticks out to me. Interesting they got two of his songs in here. Right. Well, that one has an asterisk. I wonder why. <laughs> We're both looking on the Tony Hawk wiki. Yeah. The asterisk doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, Rocky Ride by Felix Ouskad was originally in the soundtrack during the beta, but was removed, so it's not actually in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I don't remember it. I don't think I have any yeah, more... A... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have any yeah. more interesting notes about these. No. Nope. Again, middle tier Tony Hawk soundtrack. Not quite up there with, like, in my opinion, Underground 2 or Tony Hawk 3 or 2. I'm curious if anyone watching got into some of these bands, like some of these originals or old school punk through the covers here. Please say so, because it's interesting how the Tony Hawk games and Guitar Hero introduced a lot of people to older punk and the like. Like was the case for me. I'm, I'm interested to see if that happened with other people. Mm -hmm. 